Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. This is Arvind from Merit Pros. Let's get started. So basically now let's start on with Maven and Maven Basics. So what is basically Maven? So where does the name come from? So it is basically a Yiddish name, meaning accumulator of knowledge. So basically uh, Maven, if I want to tell you in a simple terms, it's going to be a dictionary. A complete dictionary so what is meant by dictionary so simple thing um, uh, the dictionary nothing but it consists of and meaning for all the words so like say if you open a dictionary you can search about any word on an alphabetical order am i right and the same way maven is also nothing but it's an accumulator of knowledge so whatever the development activities that is going to happen so everything like say they'll putting it inside a maven so that it will not not only be useful for you so it will also be available for a wider set of audience as well so that they can use your particular logic and they can use it anywhere inside their particular programming okay so that is why we have it as a maven and we call it as your accumulator of knowledge okay uh, standard way to so what does a maven do okay basically the next question what does a maven do so we uh, we said like maven is nothing but an accumulator of knowledge that means it has the meaning of everything that is available inside in it and what is used to do a standard way to build the project a clear definition of what the project consists of an easy way to publish the project information and a way to share the charts across several projects so this is the most uh, like say the easiest part like what is basically uh, maven so it provides the definition of your project so so what am i going to do with the maven so what am i do going to do with your project so it provides a perfect road line to your particular project what you are going to do and once you do your project you are going to publish the project so why are you going to publish your project so you are going to publish your project in order to tell everyone that i have done this stuff and how can you share this particular project to everyone with the help of jar files so jar files i'll tell you there is a little more into the jar files in the coming up slides we'll see it in detail but as it is now in order to share your project to other persons available in a different team or in a different organization or within the team in a, within a wider set of organization or you want to take it outside your organization anything and everything a jar will be helpful for you okay or what does your maven project can be searched across maybe let me give you a little bit road map on that actually okay so basically we are going to build a maven project so it is with you okay so you need to share it across your team so what you are going to do it is like you need to build your project and we have a specific command to build the project uh, it obviously starts with mvn so the meaning of mvn is nothing but your maven so we'll come to the commands on the later part so we build the project and whatever the project available over here so it will be completely converted into a jar file this jar file you can use it across any place that you want to do it maybe like say uh, to your friend uh to your project mates or even to another organization so wherever it is you can transport this particular jar what we are seeing it over here share the jar file across the several projects and what does the history of maven do so the maven is nothing but it is getting derived from something called a ant so ant is nothing but it's again a particular uh, build tool okay so it came before the existence of your maven okay so let me tell you the hierarchy quick hierarchy as well so how does it do okay okay so basically when you have a build tool so nowadays we categorize it into three things okay one is like ant maven and the last the latest one we call it as a gradle so three things we have build tool currently existing in our industry so ant it's no longer of existent the next improved version is maven so maven is developed by some person called an organization called apache org and the competitor of maven versus maven competitor is going to be your gradle and this was developed by nobody other than your google simple 
So there is some set of differences, but the operation is going to be the same. So this is what the build tool is about, the history of build tool. So Ant is nothing but the uh, uh, previous version of Maven, or we can say the Maven is going to be an improved version of your Ant. And whoever is the Maven's competitor, it's going to be your Gradle. So, and it is developed by your Google and Maven is developed by your Apache OH. Okay. So these two have a very tough competition, but the area of expertise is different for both items. Okay. So let's go to the next one. So Maven is nothing but it's a repository where we can access project dependencies. So when you come to your project, uh, if you're working in an organization or you're a fresh or anyone, so you cannot uh, uh, co you cannot write your code on a individual basis. You need to have some dependencies. That means like I have a dependency on another particular jar file, or like say I have a dependency on how to do this particular stuff. So all these things we call it as a dependency. Like say for example, I'm dependent on my uh, Google. Uh, maybe you can say it as a Stack Overflow, just to copy the logic and then change the logic. So that is a kind of dependency. I have it. So these things, whichever you depend on to do your day-to-day -day activity, we call it as a dependencies. So Maven is going to give you all the dependencies to you so that you can use it at your max. Okay. So this is about a short introduction about your Maven, Maven basics and who is the competitor and where it has been origin from. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Hope the cover topics will help you in your career development and growth. See you in our next video.